if you've put different size tires or different gears in your differentials on your Jeep, your speedometer is probably wrong. This is not a hard fix. All we got to do is change the speedometer gear in the transfer case, which I'm going to show you here in a bit. But first thing I got to have to do is figure out my gear ratio, my differentials. So I've marked the drive shaft. And here I'm marking the tire. And then I've got the Jeep jacked up with the rear end in the air. And the Jeep is in neutral. So then I can rotate both tires at the same time. I'm going to rotate the tires one full turn and count the drive shaft rotations as I do it. So there's one drive shaft rotation. Again, it's important you rotate both tires with at the same speed. Two rotations, three rotations. Coming up on the mark on the tire. There it is. And it's just shy of four rotations, so about 373s. If you Google Jeep Speedo gear chart, you'll probably find something like this. I've got 373 gear ratio. Go over to 35 inch tires. I need a 29 tooth speedometer gear. So I'll buy one of those and we'll put that in. It's pretty easy. This is the back of the transfer case. You want to clean it up before you uh, take anything off because you will be exposing the inside of the transfer case. We've got to take the electrical connector off. There's a red lock, a slide lock on that connector so it can't get knocked off. Just use a screwdriver or something hard to push it over to one side and then squeeze the connector and pull it off. Put it over out of the way. Then one bolt holds a clamp that holds the whole speedometer, gear, sensor combo in. Just take that bolt all the way out. The clamp will come off. And we just pull the sensor and gear out all to one piece. It's a little snug, it's got a no ring on it. Here it is out of the transfer case. I want you to take a look. And there's the gear. And then there are four sets of numbers all the way around this because depending on which number of teeth the gear that you put back in, you're going to orient it with the right range pointing down or about six o'clock when it goes back in the transfer case. So like there's a 32 to 38, so if you're putting a 36 in, those numbers would face down or six o'clock when it goes back in the transfer case. The old gear just snaps out. And I'm gonna go ahead and lube up the new gear before I put it in. little assembly lube or you can use automatic transmission fluid whatever you got handy just don't like to put things together dry especially a plastic gear I'm going to lube, lube the teeth of the gear as well and while I'm at it I'm going to replace the o-ring they're cheap. Don't want it to leak. Just gonna pick the old O-ring out with a screwdriver. And I'm gonna clean that area up down in the groove and such. Then I'll put some assembly lube on that as well. And I'll lube up the new O-ring before I put it in too. It's just best to have all this stuff wet before you put it in. That reduces the chances of tearing the new the new O-ring. Before I reinstall, I'm going to wipe the hole in the transfer case clean. Then I'm just going to press the speedometer sensor assembly with the new gear on it back in. 
and I hold my thumb on the number of rings that I want to be installed down or in the six o'clock position and once it's in there you can rotate it a little bit to line up with the clamp the clamp fits into some grooves on the case it's one there's four different positions you can press this in it might be different than the way it was in there when you had it depending on which range of speedometer gear you have going in I'll tighten this bolt up I'll torque it to 110 inch pounds actually between 90 and 110 I, I think I did 100 And all we have to do is hook up the electrical connector, slide the lock for the electrical connector back in place, and we're good. And again, we here I've rotated it to a different position, so I have to t twist the wire a little bit to go on, slide the lock in place. We're set. That's an easy job. You guys can handle this. Jeep on.